Hi guys, welcome to another one of my internet videos. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be talking about a feature of the C++ language uh, known as pointers. Okay, and uh, an analogy that I like to use to describe pointers uh, is that of a television and a remote control. Okay, with televisions, right, they're always set to some channel and you can walk over to a television and you can change the channel manually or you can use the remote control to do it okay so in our analogy the television is a memory location somewhere in the computer and the remote control is uh, a pointer variable okay and so that pointer variable is going to contain the memory address of the memory location that uh, it's pointing to. Okay, so just like a remote control has a code for a television, uh, a pointer has a code for or has a memory location, memory address, excuse me, for the location it's pointing to. Okay, so in this graphic here, we kind of see uh, an illustration of that. Right, so <clears throat> int star x pointer here contains a hexadecimal memory address and that hexadecimal memory address just happens to be the memory address for int x okay and int x is currently set to 5 okay so that's the general idea of pointers let's take a look at some code okay and how we can uh, how we can use these things okay so let me bring up code blocks here all right so <clears throat> the first thing that we need to be able to do is we need to be able to access memory addresses. Okay, so let's do that right now. Okay, we're going to use uh, a couple operators to help us out. Okay, we're going to have uh, the indirection operator, which looks like an asterisk. Okay, and we're going to have the address operator. Okay, and the address operator looks like the reference operator when, you know from functions when you pass by reference okay so we're going to use the address operator to return the memory address from a variable okay so if i have a variable x okay it doesn't matter what it contains right now we're just interested in not what's in it but uh what its actual address is okay so i'm going to do this oops Typo. Okay, I'm going to do this. I'm use the address operator, and so what that's going to do is that is going to return not what's stored in X, but the actual hexadecimal memory address where X is located. Okay, and that's going to be sent to C out, and C out's going to display it to the screen for us. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this, and I'll show you. Okay, so there we go. So X is currently assigned to the memory address, the, the memory location where the memory address is. Uh, 28 FEFC in hexadecimal. Okay. All right. So, what if I want to store that memory address somewhere, right? Well, the way I do that is um, I make a pointer variable. Okay. And this is what it looks like. Okay. I use uh, this little ad, this little asterisk here. Okay. So, pointers have data types, okay? So, a, uh, an integer pointer has to point to an integer data type. A float pointer has to point to a float, okay? Float variable. A character pointer has to point to a character variable. <clears throat> okay. So, let's... Uh, Take a look at this, and when we use this asterisk here right now, this is this is a variable that's just going to hold a memory address that points to an integer variable. Okay, I can write it like this. Okay, if I wanted another pointer, I could write it like this. Okay, I could even write another pointer like this. Okay, it doesn't matter where this asterisk is, so long as it's between the data type and the variable. I can even define these things on in a single line right I could even do something like this uh, int star 
um, a pointer, comma, asterisk, b pointer, uh, asterisk, c pointer. Okay. So there we go. Let's let's change this to a float just for some variety. Okay. So now um, these are three pointer variables that point to float variables. Okay. Right now they're not assigned anything. All right. So let's uh, show you what it looks like to assign um, a memory address to a pointer. Okay. So if I wanted to have x pointer point to the x variable, this is what I would do. X pointer set to ampersand x. Okay. So now x pointer is going to contain the memory address for the x variable. Okay, so let's do a C out and show you what that looks like. Okay, so I will send the contents of x pointer to C out. Okay, and then I will use the address operator to show you the memory address of x. Okay, and these are going to be the same. All right, so right now um, x pointer is holding 28FEF8, which happens to be the memory address for the variable x. Okay. So that's how we can use the address operator to assign uh, a pointer to point to a particular variable. All right. So um, what if I actually wanted to use that pointer to access a value inside a variable? Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's assign a value to x. Let's just set it to 5. Okay. So now what I can do is, remember up here on line 23, I already assigned x pointer to point to x. Okay, so what I can do is, is I can print out or display or access uh, the value stored in x uh, in the usual way, right? I've already assigned 5 to it, but I could send it to C out and display it if I wanted to, right? In the usual way. Okay, so there's 5. Or I can use the indirection operator to do what's known as dereferencing a pointer. Okay, when we dereference a pointer, we're using the pointer to access the value uh, in the variable that the pointer is pointing at. Okay, so this is what this looks like. Okay, we just use an asterisk right before the variable. Okay, excuse me, the variable, the pointer variable. Okay, so when we do this, this asterisk is saying go to the memory address that is uh, stored in the x pointer variable here and then uh, return that. Okay, So let's see it. Right? We're going to see 5 on both lines. So there we go. Okay, We've now used our remote control on line 30 here, our x pointer, to uh, return the value stored in the television x. Okay, In line 29 we went to the TV directly. Okay, so it's really it's really that simple as far as getting started. Okay, so I can not only can I retrieve the value that's stored in X using the pointer, I can dereference the X pointer and use that to set um, to set the value that uh, at the memory location that the pointer is pointing to. Okay, so let's do that. Line 32, we'll do that. Okay, now let's print out, let's dereference x pointer to display 10, and let's also just display uh, x, the contents of x straight away. Okay. All right, see, we changed them. We use, on line 32, we dereference the pointer and use the dereference pointer to set x to 10. Okay, really is, really is that that simple. Okay. Okay. Let me show you a couple other ways that you can uh, define or initialize some of these variables. Okay. So we can we can uh, mix and match pointers and regular data types. Okay. So if I wanted to do something like this, int uh, c equals eight. Right. I could do that. That would initialize c to eight. If I use the asterisk here, right, I could then do like C pointer equals ampersand C, all on the same line. 
Okay, that's not a problem. Okay. Now if I do C out C and then dereference the C pointer, right? We're gonna see eight here twice. Oops. Uh oh, I already declared C pointer as a float. This is the error message that you'll get, right? If you have type mismatching, right? C pointer is defined as a float here. So that's not gonna work, right? I have a type mismatch error. So um, let's just change all these guys back to units. Make it easier. Okay. So now when I do this, uh, oh, I do re I defined it multiple times. Oops. Okay. And I will just comment that out. How about that? Get out of here. Okay, let's do it now. Okay, there we go. Okay. Sorry about that. So um, I can define and initialize all in the same line as long as they're the same data type. Right? I can't mix and match. I couldn't do something like this. I couldn't do like float um, in star float uh, C or let's see float G uh, in star H. Right? That's that, that 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 should be pretty obvious that I can't do that. Right? Um, I get this error message here, so that's not going to work. So we can't we can't mix and match data types on the same line. Okay? Alright. Okay, so now you know how to uh, define uh, pointer variables and how to retrieve the memory address uh, for a variable and uh, assign it to a pointer. And you know how to use the indirection operator to dereference a pointer to retrieve uh, a value that a pointer is pointing at and also to assign a value to uh, a location that a pointer is pointing at. All right. So in the next video uh, we'll talk about pointers and arrays and then in another video we will talk about um, passing pointers to functions, returning them from functions, and we'll also talk about uh, pointer arithmetic. Okay. Um, so that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching, and as always, if you have questions, shoot me an email or stop by my office hours. All right? Great. Thanks.